Hello students, welcome to the class. Today we are going to look into one of the vocabulary components of uh, unit 3 in semester 2. And this is about portmanteau words. Now before we, this class will be dealing with like uh, the meaning of portmanteau words and also the function of portmanteau words and also the origins. And also so we will be discussing some examples of the portmanteau words. But before we go into actually under, uh, getting into the meaning of portmanteau words, let's try to understand what is the concept. Okay, now we are presently using internet for our online classes. And what is the internet for that matter? I know most of you know what is, what is the internet. But do you know that even before maybe 1950s or 60s, uh, the word internet did not exist at all. So how did the word come to be? Yeah, you're right. Actually, the word internet was formed by the blending of two different words, international and network. And when these two words were blended to form or coin a new word, internet, to describe a phenomenon which was not before that period. So, so what is the meaning of a portmanteau word? Now, such words which are formed by the fusion or blending of two different words to coin a new word are called as portmanteau words. They're also called as blenders for that matter. Now, let's look into some more examples to understand what we are actually talking about. For example, the word brunch is a very recently invented word which comes or which is coined by combining two words breakfast and lunch so brunch is that sort of a meal which is taken in between uh, breakfast or lunch camcorder which also means camera plus recorder so you have an equipment where you have a camera as well as a video recorder in it and you have to frame a new word and the word camcorder came into place or for that matter, the very little word that we use in all of our computer things, that is bit, which comes by the combination of two different words, binary and digit. Okay, so what does actually the word portmanteau mean? Now, portmanteau is, is a French origin word and it is also a combination of two different words, porter, which means to carry, and manteau, which means a cloak. So it's something like a person on a railway platform who would be like carrying not only your belongings, but also your coat as well. So from that, it came to be known as portmanteau. Now, how did it all start that people began to use such blended words or portmanteau words for that matter? Now, Lewis Carroll, as we all know, who was the author of the children's classic um, Alice in the Wonderland uh, had used this portmanteau words extensively in his works to, where Humpty Dumpty, one of the characters, talks to Alice and uh, there are many words that he coined like slady or which means which came from the combination of slime and lithe and cottle which means like uh, throttle and uh, chorus. Okay. And Charles Dickens was another English writer who actually used many portmanteau words to name his characters. Now, for example, in one of his books, there is a character by name Boy Thorn. Actually, it's a portmanteau word, which where it's a combination of boyhood and thorn. Even another writer, James Joyce, began to use portmanteau words extensively in his works. So, in this way, portmanteau words became came into fashion in the 19th and the 20th century. Now, what is the function, basic function? Now, this is a very distinctive or unique feature of English language. Now, the many words in English language are created uh, because of the recent phenomenon and they are invented for that matter to talk about things that have come into being in the recent times. So this is a particularly distinctive feature of English language, which many other languages do not possess. And it's a very creative literary device. You and I also can 
form our own portmanteau words, we can also invent some portmanteau words. For example, if somebody says, if you were reading the book and it's written like, let's chillax, and you wonder what chillax means, it, it, it catches your attention and it, it just means like chill and relax at the same time. So, portmanteau words are very much used in order to attract the reader's attention. Now, let's look at some examples of portmanteau words. Now, these are from some of the examples from our computer world. Pixel, which is generally every camera we talk about, it is a combination of two words, picture and element. Malware, malicious and software. Netizen, internet and citizen. Cyberzine, cyberspace plus magazine. And you have blog, which means web and log. And podcasting, which, which comes from combination of iPod and broadcasting. Email is a combination of electronic and mail. And netiquette is a combination of two words, internet and etiquette. And moblog, okay, now we are all using mobiles to do so much of uh, internet logging. And it's like moblog means mobile plus log. Some more examples like affluenza means affluence plus influenza. Avionics is a combination of aviation and electronics. Bash, we have programs like Big Bash and all. Bash uh, means bang and at the same time smash. And bionics means biology and electronics together. And breathalyzer is an instrument which is used to analyze the breath. It's a combination of two words, breath and analyzer. Shanglish, for that matter, is a combination of two words, Chinese and English. So, when a Chinese person speaks English, which is a combination of new uh, sounds that come from him, uh, generally termed as Chinglish. <coughs> Informational means information plus commercial. Intercom, internal and communication. Knowledge base is a combination of two words, knowledge and database. Motel could mean motorway and a hotel at the same time. And Medicare is medical and care. Now some other recent phenomenal words, both manto words, we have Pokemon, which actually means pocket and monster. Sitcom, situational and comedy. There are many series that we actually uh, happen to look in our televisions is actually sitcoms. Brexit, which Britain is embroiled in presently, it means Britain and exit. And frenemy, a very new word, which means a friend and enemy at the same time. Chillax, okay. Hangry means hungry and also angry. Oh, that could be a dangerous person. Emoticon means emotion and icon. And shopaholic means shopping. Like, okay. Now, can you find the words which are behind these portmanteau words? Let me give you a few seconds to do this. Yeah, I know some of you might have got for some it could be a little difficult. Okay, now paratroopers comes from a combination of parachute plus troopers and moped is a combination of mobile and pedal and fortnight is a combination of 14 nights. Okay, o'clock means of the clock and cineplex is a blending of cinema and complex. Vitamin for that matter is a combination of vita, which means life in Latin, and the mines. Carzac means car plus hijack. Screenager, okay, every teenager is a screenager these days. Screen time has increased. So, screenager is somebody who is always on screen, a teenager is always on the screen. And video means video press, right? Uh, you can just go through your textbook exercise in uh, unit 3 of your semester 2 and uh, you can if for any questions or queries you can contact us or you can send a mail to the department email id or you can post a query on our blog spot thank you very much for watching continue to watch